This year it's a little different. You've got the WBIR team of uh -huh. Russell Biven and Todd Howell. In the center position, you've got the Knoxville Fire Department team of Cindy, I'm sorry, the PD team is in the middle. The uh, Cindy Gass and new chief Eve Thomas. Uh -huh. The Knoxville Police Department are in the center. And then the far boat is the fire department boat. That's Chief Stan Sharp and DJ Corcoran. Awesome. So it's a three-way race. They've got to go down uh, around some of the stanchions of the World's Fair Park Amphitheater and back here. So we are at the start and finish line. And there is a balloon marking the halfway point. Now this is bragging rights on the line. KFD, um, KPD usually do a tug of war in years past. They've changed it up to paddle boats and now Todd and Russell joining the challenge. So we're going to start this race. Are you ready? Because we'll have uh, Judith Fultz. Okay, Judith Fultz. is going to wave it? her hat. So gentlemen, ladies, watch your, the hat across the way. On your marks. Get set and go. Go, Tom. Come on, Russell, Todd. Let's go. Are you uh -oh. paddling? Right now it looks like KPD is taking wow. a significant lead. Russell the and Beth. ladies taking the lead. In fact, Eve Thomas, police Russell and chief. Todd are struggling right now. Shocking. Are you pedaling the right direction? I think Put you're pedaling back. Put the muscle in it. Come on, guys. You're losing. Eve Thomas is very aggressive. Now, this is an interesting situation <laughs> because both the police department and fire department are used to other people getting out of their way. Yes. And here you Not have it. Not happening right now. It where seems the to police be KPD have set up, holding up the, the boats here. They have set up a water block, which is <laughs> like a roadblock. It's a floating water block, but now they're drifting out of the way, creating an open path for the Knoxville Fire Department. You see that Stan Sharp and DJ Corcoran are slow and steady, and that, as we know from the hair and the tortoise, could win the race for them. Well, and it looks like Russell and Todd, I don't know if they're figuring out this paddling or not. They're, they're going... Right now, Russell and Todd. Is that, is that part of the course? Or are they? No, Russell and Todd detouring? are way off course, and frankly, they're cheating right now. <laughs> uh, they were trying to stop the police boat, and you see that Russell has got his hands on a competitor, <laughs> which in normal situations would be called some kind of foul. But as I mentioned earlier, Beth, there's a long history of cheating in this paddle boat so race. So no penalty? The race can continue? No, in fact, what I would like to see happen is I'd like to see KPD perhaps flip Todd and Russell <laughs> into the water. That is would that be possible in these paddle boats? Have you seen this happen before? I've seen people fall out because okay. they tried too hard to lean one way or the other. Okay, now wait a minute. They're going backwards at this point? What's the strategy here, Frank? Well, right now what's happening is the fire department is just going to win the race because they <laughs> they are have made it down to the balloon where they're going to turn around. We have a battle for second place between the police department and WBIR, and both sides appear to be blocking one another. Well, I'm starting to wonder if Russell and Todd have been on a paddle boat before. Their no, skills are proving otherwise. They, they look like novices. I mean, the goggles are not helping them. The beach towels <laughs> trying to hide their pasty white legs are not helping them. <laughs> Nothing is helping Russell and Todd at this point. They're Not just even treading the, water, literally, like going in circles. I mean, I thought with Todd's meteorological skills that he at least would have put the wind behind his back and somehow gotten a free gust to help him. But as you can see that right now, looks like DJ Corcoran is sipping a cold one <laughs> as he is, already, he is already celebrating victory, which is probably well-deserved because they're the only team to have made it to the turnaround point here at World's Fair Park on the festival on the 4th. I'm not sure Russell and Todd will ever make it to the halfway point. There is a balloon, a patriotic balloon in the water. Is he which supposed to be on the rest turnaround. of the show, or can I just host it with you? Well, you may be with me because they may <laughs> never get out of the lagoon here at World's Fair Park. Now they're headed toward the amphitheater. Yes, I'm just not sure what's going on. Well, what's going to happen in the amphitheater is my friends from the Knox Asian Festival are about to do their lion dance, which could be Ooh. frightening for Todd and... <laughs> Russell if they're not prepared. Well, they may want to join in the dance. It looks like what Although they're preparing think, to do. I don't know. Right. I think they'd have better success in the uh, lion dance than they will in this paddle boat race. Meanwhile, KFD closing in on this finish line. Well, they're used to spraying water on people, and today they've done it <laughs> quite calmly and serenely here at World's Fair Park, cruising to an easy victory. Chief yeah. Stan Sharp and DJ Corcoran, the public affairs officer for the Knoxville Fire Department. Certainly no competition here. KFD going to take the finish line. They're almost crossing the crime tape uh, as we speak. How DJ fitting. DJ's going in slow motion. Woo! Chariots of fire, my friend. <laughs> and it is official. Knoxville Fire Department has taken the Festival on the Fourth Challenge trophy this year, and now it is sadly a race for second place, <laughs> something that Todd and Russell are not accustomed to being in. No, no, and I tell you, they're, they're competitive. They're having a really hard time out there. Um, uh, obviously, it's not showing, though, in their paddle boat ability, but, you know, it looked like DJ Corcoran, they're preparing for a photo finish. He was leaning forward, stretching his arm in case there was competition, in case there was a tie, but... They clearly won this race. Yes, and it looks like they've gotten plenty of rest and were well prepared for today's heat. Whereas uh, <laughs> Chief Eve Thomas is doing an admirable job of staying in front of the other two, but it looks like they're also drifting off course a little bit. Well, and they have yet to 
hit the balloon, have they? Because you have to pass right. the balloon and turn around as so part of the course, correct? It yes, that is correct. And it does appear that Todd and Russell not only passed the balloon, <laughs> but they went all the way down to Neyland Drive and are now trying Neyland to work Stadium, their way back. In fact, that's that's what I'm thinking at this point. I mean, they are way off course here. Guys, what are you doing? Hurry up. Time's a wasting. K KPD, meanwhile, led by Chief Eve Thomas, they're pedaling backwards, really showing up. Todd and Russell kind of rubbing it in at this point. Well, as you know, the uh, police are known for their defensive and uh, aggressive driving skills. They practice on the wet pad over there. So I imagine that Cindy Gass and Eve Thomas are well versed in how to maneuver any kind of vehicle. You would think. Now, now they're pushing hard. Working those legs at this point, Todd and Russell trying to make up for lost ground here. Now, meanwhile, uh, the WBIR team sadly is taking up so much time <laughs> that here the city of Knoxville has already started renting out the paddle boats to yes. anyone who wants to come down. They've started loading in the general public. This is supposed to be the kickoff event to free paddle boating here. <laughs> Which is a wonderful addition here at the Lagoon at World's Fair Park. Fellas, what's going on? If you ain't first, you're last. Come on. I mean, third place, really? KP? KPD has easily beaten the team of Russell and Todd. Way to go, ladies. I the... mean, are you serious right now? And there goes Russell into the water face first. And Todd Howell manages <laughs> to keep most of his pants dry. Good thing they were wearing their goggles. <laughs> they were prepared for this finish, Come everybody, on, I'm sure. What happened, guys? Come on here for your... Oh, they they're said saying there's a bowling ball underneath the paddle boat. I'm having a hard oh, time believing that at this point. Baloney. He's full of baloney. Come on Come up, on, gentlemen. Brother. We want to hear your recap. Now, you ran the fireball cracker race last night. Yes. Could that have um, played a part in your slow finish today? F feeling the burn. We, we just got beat. They were just, we were third place today. They were so good. That was harder than you think. We uh, well, were going to go forward, then we're going to go backwards. Russell, my man, did a great job. It was <laughs> Russell did not do a great job. He did not do it. Russell, well, did you swim that lap, or what happened? I could have. Yeah, you um, As Beth, you know, I'm a record breaker. <laughs> not today. Going to hell in the rowboats. This is our hobby. This is their living. Yeah. <laughs> and today, they did their living. We did our hobby. Well said. Yeah, you know, you just got to go back to the drawing board and, uh, you know, just focus on what happened uh, and look at the film, and we'll get back after it starting tonight. You're going to get back out in those paddle boats. Are That's you serious? Right. Yeah, Chief Sharp not put two watermelons in the back of our boat. Probably would have helped us. But here I he is. Here are the victors, DJ Corcoran and Chief Stan Let's Sharp. Look at that. Not a drop of water. I mean, you guys, you had a, a cold drink in your hand. I had a cold drink. That, no, 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 no. Not, yeah. not a drop of water. Smooth sailing, my friend. Talk about the strategy. You know oh. these guys. Well, I'd like to hey, thank... Away all our safety. No, I'd like to thank Rami's. They fixed me a good breakfast this morning. I had the country breakfast. I'm still riding on that. Uh, a little refreshing drink here. And Chief had some tips he did it last year and it was a really close race uh, we had some great competition this year i think it was a photo finish i couldn't see i mean we were just paddling forward but i think they were right Chief, on you were so far I in front you guys finished photos. yesterday i did get some good photos a good way. But you were not a good in. way to start this that event you were leading in in case it was a photo finish you were expecting some competition they didn't show up yeah yeah i mean i did get a good photo of them second and third place i got a real good photo of them so it was a photo finish it's gonna be a whole year a whole year for this how many days have y'all been practicing this is the first time I've been in a paddle boat. That just stinks. Stinks. Whatever. That yeah, just seriously. Well, have you two ever been in a paddle boat before? No, never. In fact, he's never. Actually, Todd's never been in water. <laughs> so that's what I was dealing with. Here, give me this. Todd's never been in water. He couldn't wear his goggles. His glasses were steaming up. So we got, we got tonight, crisscross. Well, it's 73. Hi tomorrow. He kept nine, saying eight. when we started, <laughs> aim like for the sun sphere. Weekend. Aim for the sun sphere. I said, that's not even the right way. <laughs> I was praying for wind shear. We didn't get it. You got off well, track got a sure little are. bit, off course, right, finally right. able to regain, but you couldn't turn the boat around. What happened? No, well, I'm not sure what happened, but it was probably, we probably should have gone backwards the whole we, time. We, we were debating about whether to go forwards or backwards, and you know, when you're in between, you, you don't go very far. Well, you know, KPD Chief uh, did not win, but she beat you guys. Uh, starting off yeah. this on a, a right foot, I would think. Well, a right foot for her, I can tell you that. That also stinks. Thank you, Beth. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Well, we are going to let. 
Oh, good sportsmanship right here, ending the day with a handshake for sure. Russell and Todd are going to dry off, I think. Uh, then we're going to head back over to one of the other lawns here at World's Fair Park. But we do want to let you know, as Frank mentioned, you can jump in the paddle boats with your family. They are free. A great way to see World's Fair Park and a good spot to be today because it is hot, hot, hot today. It is awesomely hot, better than the rain we've had last year or the year before. Uh -huh. I love it. It's a beautiful night for fireworks, clear skies, and this year, three stages of entertainment. We'll talk about that coming up, but it's so many great opportunities for the whole family here at World's Fair Park. For Wonderful. Festival on the floor. Frank Murphy, always a pleasure. Thank Hanging you, out with you, my friend. Much more live at 5 at 4, live from World's Fair Park as we celebrate this Independence Day. Coming up after a quick break, getting rid of the towels and the goggles. More show ahead.